in movies and theater when the style of the movie is in a way where uh, there's a person narrating the story, you know, the story goes along. Um, in instances where the story is a lie, um, it's along the lines of the usual suspect. Well, what it's told in a way it was true, I think. But uh, but the, the whole thing is totally fabricated. Has there ever been a shot in a way where the guy talking never talks as the movie is occurring? You know, as as the scenes are occurring. He afterwards explains something that relates to what was shown. But then again, you find out that it was all a lie. You get what I'm saying? I believe, you know, like I said, it's always shine away where a person is telling a story and it happens as they're saying it or it happens after they say it. But do but the, the but has it ever came before they say it. All you movie buffs out there let me know. I wanna make movies, y'all. You know what a, a porn producer, director should try? Having the uh, actors in a a mirror room and have the cameras behind this uh you know two way mirror the two way one way mirror one way mirror whatever you know so the cameras are outside the mirror the actors only see themselves in the mirror mirror because I wonder if it would take away from what is taken away from when you have people just watching, you know, you've been watched. You no, know, because you watch these porns. And the main fact of porns, you know, it just... I know I said before, it, it ain't... It ain't real enough for me. That's why I like, you know, the the home videos. We can see some real stuff. And, like, it's all... If somebody shot his way, then, you know... The actress may get caught up more in her reflection, and not even and come to not even think about the cameras that are behind the mirrors. It's an idea. I have an idea for a porno, Invisible Man. I would just like to try it for the sake of trying it. Hey, what can I sell y'all to make some money? Can I send y'all a, a blessed handkerchief or something? A blessed tissue? I got I got tissue. I always use tissue. I got sinus and allergies, so I always have my security blanket in my pocket. Can I sell some special tissues? Some truth tish, tissues to y'all? Make some money? As much as I hate to say it, I think I need to make some money. <sighs> I wanna be a billionaire so fucking bad, but not just for the money. The Grave Digger. Has there been a uh, a trilogy involving a Grave Digger? I don't know, there's so many straight to video DVDs out. Whatever you want is probably out there. Next great. Serial killer, mass murderer, animal beast, the devil Satan, grave digger. I give him a name. You gotta imagine, this ain't just your normal grave digger. Humongous, of course. Shovel is abnormally large. He can dig a six feet hole in what? Six seconds? I want to clarify. 
a previous statement in which I said I think I may need money. I want to make sure you realize that I do mean need, not want. I don't want money. God knows the truth is I don't want money. Can someone really need it? So the first question is, what motivates our character? What drives him? What makes him the beast he is? Um, could he have been raised by a mortician? Uh, or by a grave digger? Is it was actually chained up and fed body parts? A father who is a grave digger, mortician, is a caretaker too. Uh, has been raping his daughter over years and had some children, and one of them was born uh, mentally challenged. <laughs> 